Are you curious on how much a CEO spends on a family trip? And what mode of transportation do they actually use? Is it a normal plane or private jet? Well, let's find out. Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. For this video, we will discover how the richest CEOs travel the world. But before anything else, please leave a like on the video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell down below so you won't miss any of our videos. Without any further ado, let's hop right into the video. For normal people, it is more difficult than ever to see how your boss explores. It might be a use of a private jet or a staycation in a classic beach resort is necessary for their travels. Most CEOs use a jet as a mode of transportation. Going to Dubai in tandem with work tours and family outings before flying to Maldives is a matter of safety. Security is the priority of a CEO on a trip. Example is George W. Bush, who traveled to Africa with his 30 undisclosed service escorts. According to some CEOs, you are considered unimportant if you can be offline for 10 hours since they don't stop working even if they are riding a private plane. CEOs are more productive in working on private planes. They ensure that the work is done even when they are up for vacation. Next to their priority when traveling is family's privacy. Staying under the radar of their family rather than who they are is very important. Their focus during travels is on their families. Usually, if they are not traveling with their loved ones, the CEO's companions are their pets. This shows that CEOs aren't just luxurious travels, but productive travelers as well. Knowing how crucial their job is, they can never be idle at any point. Did you know it cost a minimum of $75,000 to transport a number of four family members using a private jet? Not including the hotels, yacht, and other activities. The CEO's preferred air travel is one of the most important things to consider. According to India, they regularly demand a specific brand and model for their airport transference. Most of them want to be picked up right after getting off the plane since they don't want to waste time. Some CEOs also want to ensure their safety as they require two pilots on board even in using a small chopper. She also added that their tours have a combination of prearranged activities and room for spontaneity intended for relaxation and structured schedules. CEOs are not impressed with Platinum Elite Marriott reward status. They don't care about these rewards and suggestions such as free access to facilities or meal upgrades. They would somewhat book their favorite room. Programs like frequent flyer miles are not much appreciated by most CEOs since they always want to travel with the use of private planes. CEOs are very interested in accommodations that are good in lighting, space for outdoor activities, unified technology, luxurious furniture, and high quality beds. These are the five attributes of an accommodation they are looking for. Most precisely, they are looking for relaxing views such as beaches, Eiffel Tower, or Spanish Steps. Their criteria do not include large dimensions of room area for a good suit. With these known criteria of different CEOs in the world, staying at the Hassler is common for CEOs who are visiting Rome. Everything in Hassler is expensive, from the food you eat to the rooms you will stay in. When it comes to a private island resort in Tahiti, the top of the list is the Brando that is owned by Marlon Brando. This private island resort in Tahiti consists of overwater bungalows. These are considered to be the best in Polynesia. But other than these standards, CEOs also consider their dietary preferences such as allergies and restrictions as an important aspect of their itineraries. Starting from the airline routings to the crews and other people they will get contacted with. Did you know that the sons and daughters of these CEOs are very difficult to handle? Example is a 12 year old kid who gives overblown criticism on their spa experience. As a matter of fact, that is not new. As an alternative for traditional hotels, CEOs choose yachts, villas, and residences where staff to guest ratios can be controlled and minimized and also ensures confidentiality. This, for sure, gives them a sense of success. After a long day of intense deduction and years of hard work, it is safe to say that they deserve this exquisite lifestyle. Well guys, that does it for our video explaining how the richest CEOs travel the world. We want to hear from your thoughts about this. What do you think is the best part of traveling like a CEO? Let us know in the comment section down below. That's it for today. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you never miss out on any future content we produce for you guys. That's right, we make engaging videos like these every week, whether it's following this story or other stories like it. So be sure to subscribe so you won't miss out on any future content we produce. And with that, that's going to do it for our video on CEO travel. We hope you enjoyed this in-depth look at how the 1% travel the world. 
We're signing off now, but we'll be sure to catch you all in the next video.